Another good question from Avi. Every single time he hits the $4,000 a week mark, he gets complacent, right? He gets lazy. Maybe when you hit a certain milestone, you also get complacent. How do you overcome this issue? Now, I believe people get complacent for two reasons. First of all, your goal is too low. So when you, this like Abby's example, if you're hitting your 4,000 a week, for most people, that's, that's a lot of money, right? That's a lot of money. You think about $4,000 a week, right? I assume it's US currency, right? That's a lot of money. For most people, oh, that is, that's already six figure income. And you get complacent because you're comfortable. You're too comfortable. There's not enough pain in your life for you to motivate yourself to, to move forward, to strive to, more, to be more, to do more, to impact more, to add more value. So if you think about, if you set your goal too low versus if you set your goal a little bit higher and say, you know what, I'm making this much, why don't I get to 5,000, 6,000, $8,000 a week? Who do I need to be in order to do that? What kind of value I need to add in order to do that? What kind of skills I need to add? What kind of mindset do I need to develop in order to do that? So your expectation for yourself is too low. The reason your expectation for yourself is too low, my guess is because your parents or the people around you, their expectations of you is too low. And they're telling you, you should be content. You shouldn't strive more. Why are you working so hard? Right? Why are you being a workaholic? You're not spending enough time with us. Like, don't, why are you so ambitious? Why are you so greedy? When you're not greedy, you just want to be more. So that's number one. Your goals are too low. Number two, you are hang around with people that are either the same level or a level below you. The reason you hang around with them is it makes you feel good. So you're, pretty, you're doing pretty good. You hang around with people below, like a lower level in terms of income and success and significance. It makes you feel better because you are the top dog in your circle, right? I don't want to be the top dog in my circle, right? I don't even want to be equal. I want to walk in the room, I want to be the least successful guy in the room because then I can learn from them. I could grow, right? In my circle, I'm like a small potato. So I don't see myself with, oh, I'm very successful. No, I mean, people on, on, on social media, people around me, for sure. Right? Compared to most people, yes, not compared to myself. I have higher expectations for myself than anybody else. I am not 1%, listen to me, I am not even 1% of where I want to be compared to my vision. And I'm where most people want to be in their dreams. And I am not, in my vision, 1% of where I want to be. So what the hell should you be doing? I'm not complacent, I'm working harder today than I was 15 years ago, 10 years ago. I'm working harder today. Why? So the money thing doesn't drive me anymore. You need something bigger. You need a, you need a bigger purpose. Otherwise, it's, 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 I'm still young. You're still young. Hell on earth is meeting the man or woman you could have been. Life is short. Look at Kobe Bryant. Basketball. Superstar. A great man. Life is short. You don't want to have regrets. Regrets weigh a ton, a ton. I'd rather take the route of discipline and do it, do the hard thing today. Don't buy into the whole BS people around you and say, oh, you know, you don't want to work too hard. What about life balance and all that stuff? No, no. You see, now I'm almost to my 40. I could work harder in terms of stamina, 20 years old, 30, right? And 40, you, you'll feel it. But for those of 40, you know what I'm talking about. So now, in order to work harder, it requires more, more mental bandwidth, it requires more energy, it's harder. Like when I was young, I can do a, pull a few all-nighters, no problem. Now I can't do it. So I need to work smart as well as working hard, right? Not just physically, but mentally. This is what I'm talking about. So hang around with people who are more successful than you and set high goals for yourself. Don't think, oh, whatever, you're making is a lot, it's not a lot. Is not a lot. You want to compare with other people who is not a lot, where it's not, it's not even a significant amount. Then you feel small. Good. That's good. And if that doesn't motivate you, then you have low self-esteem. That's a whole other conversation, which I have other videos that talk about that you can watch those. But for now, set higher goals, hang around with people who are more successful than you. You want to be the poorest person 
in the group that you hang around with. Does that make sense? Until next time, ask me another question. If this is the first time you're watching my video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. And also check out my new shop, www.danlockshop.com. I have a lot of resources, a lot of cool swags that if you're my fan that I know you'll love. Go ahead, click the link below, danlockshop.com and check it out.